welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use snippets and library items in Dreamweaver. So first of all, snippets and library items are things that can save you a lot of rework and a lot of copy and paste. So for example, in this website, you may have things that are going to be repetitive on many different pages. One example is a navigation bar where you want this to be on every page in your website. Now you can copy and paste this onto each of your pages and that works fine until you decide you want to change something or you want to add something else to your menu or you want to delete it or change the order of things. And so then what does that mean? It means you have to come back in here and copy and paste onto every other page of your website. So how monotonous and boring that is. And also it introduces the opportunity to make errors. And so then if you are copying and pasting in the wrong place, moving things around, it can easily shift things around and uh, really mess up your site. So we're gonna look at how to create reusable pieces of code through Dreamweaver. Now one is called snippets and snippets are things that you can add to pages over and over again but they don't automatically update. And we'll also look at in comparison library items. Now a library item is something that you want to use if you want to allow something to be updated. So in this example, I just have uh, at the bottom of the page, I have a footer that has the copyright information. Now this is common kind of code that you would have in a footer section. And one place that you might put some code like that would be in a snippet. Now if you don't have a snippets panel open, which mine is currently not displaying, you can go to Window and Snippets. And somewhere on your screen, it usually pops up next to your Files and Assets tab. Now in here are bits of code that are already packaged with Dreamweaver. So maybe these are some com common um, footer pieces of code that you can add into a page, right? So if I put my, I'll just demonstrate real quickly down here. I'll put this in and say I want um, a basic block of text. So I can select it and I can come down here and click insert. All right, and then it's added this snippet of code down here for me and I can go in and modify it. But I'm gonna undo that because I'm just gonna leave that. Again, with snippets is when we create a snippet or we use one of these snippets, if we change it, it doesn't automatically update across your site. So when you make a snippet, it's going to be something that uh, you would be using on a regular basis, but not need to have to update. So since this has the copyright information, the copyright is, you probably want to update that regularly. So snippet would not be a good choice for this. So these are places where we can create, say if this is a paragraph of text that I use all the time. And I do use Greek text a lot for placeholder. So maybe I want to save this as Greek so I can pop it in on my places in my site for placeholder text. So I'm going to select it and with my snippets panel open, uh, I can click the little plus sign in the bottom for new snippet. I could also right click and on my screen, it's actually rolling off the screen. Let me select this text up here. If I right click, then we can also do create new snippet here. So I need to name my snippet and I'm gonna call it Greek text. And you can see the code that's been added in here and um, it's grabbing some extra code. I just want my paragraph tags. So I'm gonna come in here and delete all of this other that got added in, right? Because this is the only thing that I want as my snippet. And the thing to remember too is that uh, if there's a CSS style that is styling your paragraphs, then this is going to be picking up that style. And if this gets added into a different division, a different div with other styling, then it's going to pick that up. So if you want it to be formatted differently, 
then you'll need to set that up in your style sheet. So I'm just going to click OK. And so now if I click on this, you can see in the snippet what the code is. And if I want to add this someplace, I'm going to come down here, add a new paragraph. So I'm going to make some space there for it. I come over here, make sure Greek text is selected and do insert. And there is my Greek text paragraph. So as I said, if I use this over and over again in different places, snippets is the tool to use. If we want something that's going to update, now if I make a change to this, right, if I click on my edit snippet and I change this, let's just change it to all uppercase. So we're adding some uppercase words at the beginning and we'll click OK. It doesn't update what's here. So if I added this in someplace else, from that point on when I add it, it's changed, but it doesn't go in and change anything else that had been added in before. So that's using snippets. If you want something to update or have the option to update it, then you want to use library items. Now those are good for things like navigation menus. So I'm going to do a separate tutorial just on working with the library items.